Hey guys, it's your girl, Leah Lanier, and I am back with another video. <laughs> Welcome back, you guys. Guess what? Today is Friday. Friday night, Friday, Friday night, Friday night, Friday, Friday, Friday night. Okay, <laughs> it's the weekend. I'm so glad the weekend is here, you guys. Um, I am in Northridge, California, currently running an errand, waiting on Papito. I'm supposed to be going to a comedy show later on tonight. It's in Santa Monica, uh, which is about a good maybe hour away from where I'm at tonight. Um, it starts at 11.30, and I think it's already like close to 9, so I'm not quite sure if we're going to be able to make it. Papito and I both worked really, really late, so... Um, today so I'm not quite sure if we're gonna be able to make it even though we really want to um, but two of my good friends are performing at um, the West Side Comedy Theater in Santa Monica so shout out to Baleko Wizza and Keenan Baker y'all are funny as hell y'all are super duper funny and um, you guys already know man shoot the next performance you guys perform at I'm there you'll let me know and I will be there because I can't miss the next one because y'all are funny. Y'all are hella, hella funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys, I really don't have too much on the agenda this weekend. Um, I need to go grocery shopping, I know. I'm going to see the movie Ma and then work out a little bit. Um, so yeah, I really don't have too much in the agenda. So like if anything comes about, then um, I'll just kind of roll with the flow. You know, I don't really have really anything, you know, going on. So y'all already know i will for sure take you along with me this weekend and um yeah we'll see what happens so bro hey guys um it is early saturday morning it's like seven in the morning i had to run take care of some business um so yeah i'm here you guys still hella sleepy excuse my hair i didn't do anything with it i just kind of like woke up so it's pretty messed up but um <laughs> i'm here hello early in the morning you guys so i hear the tv in the background and they were talking about um the virginia mass shooting so i'm like i heard about it yesterday when i was at work you know but i was working it was hella busy yesterday so i didn't get a chance to really kind of like get updates on what happened but it was 12 people who got shot and like that is so sad in Virginia Beach my heart goes out to everyone um, you know whose family is having to deal with this tragic incident you know it's so sad when these shootings take place and you know it seems like it's so frequent that this happens you know and like people can kind of speculate on what's the best practice to take to, re to prevent something like this from happening in the future but honestly it's, it's like it's hard to say that because when somebody is you know determined to shoot someone else and you know take their life it's very difficult to prevent them like we can take precautionary measures and try to ban guns and all this other stuff but at the end of the day like that person's gonna find another gun to get a hold of and find another way to get down there to, to kill or shoot whoever they want to shoot you know so it's really really sad like I feel like mental health is you know a huge huge thing um, because I mean you can't have a solid mind in a, in a good state of mental health and then go and shoot 12 people so I think the root cause is definitely mental health mental health that needs to be addressed and I mean there's got to be like some type of family members or friends that know that something's wrong with the mindset of these people that's just my personal opinion like some people say like yeah there's no signs or anything like that but i don't know it's like maybe a person being overly aggressive too much or being depressed or being stressed like there's hotlines to reach out to for that you know what i'm saying to kind of discuss that and talk about those issues with people there's facilities that uh practice you know building up their clientele's um, skill levels to where they need to be so that they can kind of prohibit some of these things that are happening in their heads that will go and deter them to, to shoot up you know a school or or a building or something like that with a lot of people a lot of innocent people is so sad you guys um, it just really is sad so I just wanted to get on here and, and speak and share my thoughts and opinions about it and um, you know again my heart goes out to anyone and everyone involved you know and even just 
our country, just our world in general that we live into. My heart goes out to all of you guys because we're all dealing with this. Like there's all different types of feelings and emotions that come about with this. You know, it's definitely sad. So yeah, guys, my heart goes out. So I got a Denver omelet and some potatoes and some wheat bread. Like super good breakfast food. Oh my goodness. Like and they're pretty um they're usually pretty packed too there. But like if you go there early in the morning, they're um they're not that packed. What time you say we got there? Like eight? Was it like eight, you think? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Seven thirty. Seven thirty? Yeah. Yeah, so it's not packed early. I don't know what time they open, probably like at six or something. But mm. So yeah guys, so the food that I got, um, is from Holiday Burger in Mission Hills. Shout out to them, okay? Their food is muy bueno. Um, <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> like, yeah, at least I woke up at 5.30, you guys. 5.30 in the morning, had to run an errand. And yeah, it's still kind of early. <sighs> so <laughs> if I look tired, sound tired, you guessed it, I am tired, okay. Um, I hate I missed the comedy show though last night. Like I really, really, really wanted to go. <sighs> I know that would have been fun, but for sure next time I, I gotta go to that. You know, I feel like if I would have went, I would have got on that freeway coming back. If I wouldn't have, I knew I wouldn't fall asleep at the comedy show, but coming back, y'all yeah, been on that road, like. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. <sighs> Boom. Would have been a wrap. <laughs> Y'all have been hearing about me on a uh, ten o'clock news. Okay, <laughs> like, that would have been all bad. So, yeah, I gotta catch them next time though. Next time. Um, yeah, guys, like. <sighs> yeah, I just can't wait till the movie starts. I think I'm gonna just finish up eating and then, um, goodness, I dropped that a little bit time. Um, yeah, finish eating, you guys, and then take a little nap. I know my eyelashes look freaking crazy, but, um, I look freaking crazy, you know. <laughs> I slept with these eyelashes on you guys. I normally take them off because I don't wear false eyelashes to work normally because they're too drastic. I like the drastic long eyelashes, okay? Y'all may not like the drastic eyelashes, but I do, okay? I like it on the weekends, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm talking about like that though, okay? I like it. That's all that matters. <laughs> Be flying away with these bitches, like fly, 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 you know? Whatever though, I like it. Talk shit, talk your shit, I don't care. <laughs> um. But yeah, I normally do like to take my lashes off before I go to sleep. I just apply them with glue. But um, yeah, I didn't do that. So that's why they look really messed up. They're a little long shit. Really just messed up. The eyeshadow's messed up and smeared. But you know, who cares? It's Saturday. It's Saturday. And I'm just going to be going to the movies to see Ma. You know, it's not like I'm going somewhere where I got to like be in the light all day and be presentable and all that. So, you know what I'm talking about? I look crazy. Oh, well, bump it. And the point is, <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, so what I think I'm going to do is just take a little nap, um, try to get a couple of hours in of sleep and then the movie will start. So I'll head off for that. And, um, yeah, then what else? I think I'm probably going to go to the grocery store after the movies. I don't know what else after that, but I'll see what's in the agenda. Just kind of just go along with the with the ride. But yeah, nothing too major, guys. So anyway, um, yeah, let me finish eating and then I will pick back up either before I go to the movies, while I'm at the movies, or after the movie. So yeah, guys. You guys, look how cloudy it is outside. Like it's super duper cloudy. Like, I don't think it's supposed to rain a day though, but like, I think it was sprinkling a little bit earlier. But all I wanna do is just sleep, 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 sleep. Some sleeping weather, you guys. Candles and sleep, that's all I wanna do. <laughs> all I wanna do. 
had a small bullet hole in his heart. There was very little blood he found on his back. Hell is suspenseful. And then it told police Jeff was well prepared. He showed up in his pickup truck with shovels and says this is what we have to do. We have to dispose of the body. The three of them wrapped Bubba in a tarp, secured the yellow bush, <laughs> and loaded the body into Jocelyn's trunk. Bubba got very insistent that it looked like yellow hay strain. They carried him out, put him in the back of Jossie Doobie's truck. Mm -hmm. And at that point, Draw the three of them left the residence. Yeah. They literally drive over the river and through the woods. Mm. Over the Red River in Cattle Parish and into some woods in the middle of Cattle Parish. These shows always take place in like the foreign woody areas. That's insane. She said that Jeff dug the grave, they put the body in it, covered it up. Very meticulous about pine straw and putting stuff back over the grave pattern. Crazy. From there, they headed back to Shreveport to deposit Shreveport, Louisiana. That's when they country. To throw shooters down the south country. Everything else involved in that crime over the bridge into Cross Lake. And they do throw it out the window. Dang. Everything mm -hmm. goes into Cross Lake except for one shoe. Uh oh. According to Nanette. You guys, so these are the choices I got from the Dollar Tree store. Each a dollar, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, yes. I don't know which one I'm going to take yet, though. Maybe like a couple of these, but yes, 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 What place are you in? I think it's eight. <laughs> Out of ten, I think. Oh wait, now I'm passing people. I'm passing people. I see that. Uh, behind first. I'm in second place. <laughs> you're, you're not in second place. Huh? <laughs> now I'm in third. You're, you're in seventh. Seventh? Who said behind first? It's at 21 seconds behind first. Oh.
at Chick-fil-A. These are really good. Char tomato crispy. <laughs> avocado. Oh, I'm hella, hella hungry. Like, the first meal I ate was this morning. <laughs> this is my second meal. This is gonna be like a lunch slash dinner. But it's gonna be good though. It's gonna be real good. I'm hungry. Mmm. <laughs> Super, super good. It was real good. So I like Chick Fil A, fresh. Hey guys! So I am finally back home. Today ended up being such a great day. Very great, very productive, fun day, but a long day. Like this day started super early, and it's been like it's hella late. It's like already ten, and I'm just getting home. Um, but yeah guys, so let me tell you about Ma. So Ma, the movie Ma was so good. It was like, it had me on the edge of my seat pretty much the whole movie. Like it was extremely suspenseful. Um, you know, like there were a couple of things that I did not expect to happen. Um, it's crazy. So spoiler alert, if you have not seen this movie, you might not want to continue watching. I'm just going to be real with you. But if it, if you have seen it. Um, to keep watching or if you haven't seen it but you don't really plan on seeing it right away keep keep watching <laughs> so Ma um, I'm just gonna say this I feel like that movie gave a message and the message that I honestly retained from the movie was that it's not okay to bully bullying sucks you know and to make it a long story short Ma, you know, seeked revenge on some classmates in high school that did her wrong. You know, these classmates did something that was really off the chart and really ruthless and mean-spirited. And Ma seeked revenge on them. She really did, you guys. She went she went really hard and not not only did she really come for them, but she came for their children. <laughs> though that's how deep she came for like she tried to seek revenge through their children through her classmates children you know because this this is kind of like you know years after the event type thing so um you know it gave the message to me like you don't always know who you're dealing with you know when you bully somebody you make fun of somebody because they look weird or they look awkward they act awkward they do awkward things or kind of they might to you they might seem like an outcast or they're not social enough like things of that sort some people are really evil and mean-spirited and you know they bully these people and don't have the intentions of having their actions retaliated against them later on in the future you know um so i think ma that's the concept that i grasped grasped from this movie was um consequences there's always consequences to every action and bullying needs to stop period point blank and Honestly, this kind of tied into, it made me think about the whole situation with all these like mass killings and shootings and things of that sort. Like a lot of these things, you guys, they stem um, from like early years on, you know, people's lives, things don't always go wrong. They may be like an outcast or they may not feel like they've gotten the attention that they really desperately needed and they may not have never seeked um, help. You know, there are hotlines and facilities that deal with depression and deal with you know certain insecurities and things of that sort that people may go through but not everyone has the you know the, the skills or the tools to reach out to these facilities or they may not feel like it's appropriate or they may not feel like it'll be useful and helpful um so they kind of like linger on through their lives and hold this aggression this anger in and then one day burst out and explode and then shoot everybody at a school or shoot everybody at work or you know at a club or lounge or whatever so there's just so many different moving parts to bullying you guys and if you're a bully and you're watching this 
you know, you are not cool at all. You're a loser. It takes a real coward to bully somebody because of the way that they look or the way that they act. You know, anything like if they're not messing with you intentionally, leave them alone. Now, I, I'm a firm believer of self-defense. You hit me, I'm going to hit you back. Believe that. But I'm not going to bully somebody because of nothing, for no reason. You know, bullying is totally wrong. In, in my opinion, that lessens you as a person. If you're a bully and you make fun of somebody, oh, you're too skinny. Oh, you're too, you're too fat. You're too this. You're too tall. You're too short. Oh, you're skinny. Oh, my God. Are you eating? Oh, my God. You need to slow down and eating. You're too fat. Like, all of that stuff, you guys, it actually doesn't make the person that's that's being talked about look bad it actually makes the person that's saying that look bad it makes when i hear people bullying somebody or talking bad about somebody by their appearance or the way that they act in my opinion it makes me look at that person like they have really serious issues because it takes a lot of nerve for somebody to feel that way so to feel so bad about themselves to talk about other somebody else in a negative way by just that you know what i'm saying like and, and and taking it beyond just talking about them but actually doing something really mean-spirited and in the movie ma that's what happened it was very mean-spirited um and it wasn't just talk it was something that happened as an incident like i, said, I don't want to give the full spoil alert of the movie but um you guys have to check it out but something really bad happened in the movie for the girl, you know, the girl that ended up training on everybody, she had something that was done that was super duper mean and it wasn't right. It was really sad. So with that being said, you know, again, I want to to re insinuate, I want to insinuate the fact that bullying is not OK, you know, and um, it has to stop. And like, I don't have all the answers as to obviously, you know, how to prevent um mass shootings like i was saying earlier in the video I, I don't have all these answers to prevent stuff like this from happening but i do know that you know it's a lot of this stuff starts at home if you're a parent show your kids love don't you know make if you have multiple kids don't make one kid seem like they're better than the other or they're less than the other you know or don't you know, don't treat your, if you have just one kid or even if you have more than one kid, don't treat all your kids bad or just one kid. Like, you know, treat your kids the way that you want to be treated. Even if you grew up and you didn't have, you know, your parents or a parent that raised you to treat you right, make it better for your child. Because at the end of the day, tell them that, you know, this, tell them that you that you love you know them you know, as a parent you're supposed to tell your kids that you love them you care about them you're wishing their well-being upon them that they're beautiful that they're handsome that they're smart um that they're kind they're you know give them encouraging and motivating words because at the end of the day when they go into the real world you guys the real world is not always going to be nice you're always going to have something wrong with you to somebody and that somebody that's going to bring it up is a bully you know, and if your child does not have, you know, for one, if they're not used to being told that they are enough, that they are beautiful, they are handsome, they're smart, this and forth, and that like, if they don't at least have that, then it's going to be very difficult for them to perceive themselves as being enough. And then for two, if you don't teach their child that, they are going to develop a thin layer of skin. You got to have thick thick skin in this world because somebody's gonna always say something negative about you no matter what no matter what so you know again like this movie yes it was suspenseful there were some parts where it was like freakishly scary and like whoa what's about to happen like i said i really was on the edge of my seat <laughs> but after i finished watching that movie like i said what i took away from that was bullying and that there are consequences to, the, to those actions i'm not dismissing the fact that it was wrong you know um what ma did to retaliate but all i am saying is that you know it starts at home it starts at home and then obviously in the movie ma treated her daughter wrong you know there's there's like i said i don't want to like spoil all of it but like i, I did give you guys a disclaimer don't to watch not to watch this the rest of this video if you guys felt some type of way but yeah like you know it stemmed from her as a child and then as she grew up to an adult and had a child of her own she was going ham on her daughter you know and it's like a it, it really becomes 
you know, um, it becomes president. It just keeps going on and on and on and on repetitive. So teach your kids to love themselves and value themselves because it does start from jump. Um, so yeah, you guys, that was a great movie. Um, and so I've got a text message in, um, Hey Brittany, my, one of my best friends, Brittany just texted me. What's up girl? Hey, 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 if you watching this, I love you. <laughs> I'll reply back as soon as this video is over. <laughs> um, another thing, um, that I did today, you guys, Papito got a new car. Okay. Brand new car. And it is super nice. I'm so happy for him. And you know, he's about to be rolling in style. He's always had some nice cars, but this car right here, this car is, is this is a beautiful car. So yeah, like I said, that's why I became a long day. Went to the movies, um, you know, bought a new car, and just had fun. I took naps, ate good. Like it was just a great long day. And I didn't get around to go grocery shopping today, but I will go grocery shopping tomorrow. And then um, I'll try to edit this video tonight, post it soon. And then I also will be posting um, another video of my weight loss journey. Um, Y'all, I got this stomach is about to, it's like, it's getting on flat flat, y'all. Uh, it's getting on flat flat, okay? I'm getting there. I'm working on it. Um, I got a little waistline now, hey. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll show you guys how I lost 10 pounds in like oh, three weeks, so maybe a little bit less than three weeks. But I'll show you guys how I did it and kind of like my diet and what I did to kind of lose it. So, look out for that video. And, um, anyway, on this note, you guys, it's getting late. I'm going to edit this video. So, I am going to end it here, but thanks so much for rocking and rolling with me this weekend. It's been fun, and I got to run. So on that note, I will see you guys later. Ah, ah, ah. Peace.